Hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is going to be opening up and checking out another Magic the Gathering product. And today what I got in store is I got a Magic the Gathering, the Portal starter set for two players. So this is the Portal, the first edition Portal, um, two player starter set. It says it includes a free booster pack inside, so there is a Portal booster pack. Your entry into the dynamic game of strategy and imagination, that's what it says. It looks like some sort of well or something like that, like a bird's eye view of a well. Some, some interesting hieroglyphics of it, you got the mana symbols around it and some other symbols as well and some overgrown weeds like it's founding some lost civilization something like that it says magic of the gathering portal on it got the cellophane on it wizards of the coast right down there magic of the gathering portal your first steps into the ever-changing world of magic of the gathering portal makes it easy to master the many facets of the world of uh, the world's original trading card game object of the game you and your opponent are rival wizards dueling for control over a magical plane reduce your opponent's score from 20 to zero before he or she does the same to you not sure what this little red thing is. Is it a flower? Maybe. Contents. Two 35-card pre-constructed decks. So there's two pre-constructed decks for you and your opponent. Two play mats. Probably just paper that you unfold. I'm sure it's just paper. Nothing like this. And then a play guide and rule book. And also a booster pack as well, which they have on there. I'm not sure if when they first made these, they didn't have the booster pack. Then they realized they didn't sell. So maybe they put a booster pack in it as well. So it doesn't mention the booster pack except this little sticker on it right here. Magic the Gathering Portal is produced by Wizard of the Coast. When did this come out? This came out in 1997. I was just a small child when that came out. Got Magic the Gathering. It has the original price on it, I believe $9.99. I think I paid like $20, uh, plus or minus a little bit. I don't remember. So it probably went up about twice in price. And again, just uh, a portal. Uh, starter set for two players. Let's just open it up and see what it's about. Let's take off the cellophane and just have some fun with it. If I can find the pull tab, here we go. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Hope you enjoy these type of videos. I know I have a lot of fun just opening up these older sets, checking out the art, and just the feel of the cards from back then. It's so much fun for me, and I hope it's a trip down memory lane or just a little bit of history for you all. So let's just open it up and let's see. Of course, you got the cellophane, and then you got the inner cellophane as well. You got the portal booster pack there as well, some sort of like night creature. 15 tradable cards. It's like super shrink wrapped in there should have brought scissors for this let's see how i can rip this off easily there we go whoa let's see this is read this first to start playing magic with a friend here's what you do give your friend one of the decks here and uh one for you and this one's for me uh don't open the decks until the play guide tells you to put the rule book and booster pack on one side, you won't need those until later. Give your friend one playmat and keep this one f to use. So this is my playmat. We'll look at it in a second. Take the play guide and start reading it. It will show you how to play magic step by step. And soon enough, the two of you will be playing on your own. If you're learning the game by yourself, you can read through and play uh, guide and play out both sides. So this is my playmat. Pretty much just like a placeholder. It just shows you uh, what to do. Put your deck here. This is your discard pile here. I like this, it just says rules text. Let you know there's something there. Card name, cost, rules text, artist, offense, defense. I really like that flavor text. Really good information right here. And then just your, your life points. Interesting, it goes up to 25 here, showing that there could be life gain in this set, not in, uh, in these starter sets, I'm not really sure. Man, this booster pack looks sort of a wrinkly. Got super cellophane in there. Attacking versus intercepting. Creatures with summon sickness cannot attack. Uh, attacking creatures can't choose which creature they fight, if any. Attacking creatures can't gang up on defenders. An attacker might fight several defenders if they intercept. Creatures with summon sickness may intercept. An intercepting creature may choose which attacker it fights, if any. Intercepting creatures may gang up on attackers. An interceptor who fights one attacker does not fight any other. Interesting. Interceptor, they could just use the word blocking, but that's fine. And then it shows uh, you put your lands down here, your creatures up here. So this is going to be in the middle. You got your creatures, your lands, your deck, and your discard pile. And then uh, some Portal Second Age, some 5th Edition, and some Tempest going on in the back. So this would be my play set or play mat. And then my opponent's is... Um, where's my opponent's? There we go. And this is my opponent's as well. Looks like maybe I have a black deck and maybe they have a green deck. But we'll open it up and see what it's about. Let's see what this card is. Interesting. The Duelist. Got some sort of Efreet on it or Dinge. I'm not really sure. 
yes, I want the duelist. It'd be cool if they stole that magazine. You pretty much mail this to them, let them know that you want the duelist, and then you, you get it. Cool. Fun little ad card right here. About the same size as Magic the Gathering cards. Cool. Makes me think of like the World Duel, uh, the World uh, Series decks because it has the gold border. All right. And then you got the rule book. It's here and the play guide. Just thumb through this as well. It just kind of tells you uh, the setup of the field. You got your lands, your creatures, your disc, your deck and discard pile. Just a lot of good information here, especially for new players. Plan your, uh, play your plan, planes. You know, it kind of tells you first steps. So you play your planes, play your uh, devote hero, and just goes you step by step to play with your opponent. So pretty much this game has already decided who wins. Let's just see who wins this game since it's already pre-decided. Do 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 do. Fifth turn. Okay, I guess it isn't decided. It gets you to about uh, five turns, and then after the fifth turn, it sets you off on your own. It thinks that since you played through five turns, you probably know how to play now. Then you got the rule book as well. Got the little monk on it. Some credits, just a bunch of information. You got attack block, blue cards, cleanup color, in alphabetical or discard pile. Just anything that you need to reference. If a card says, uh, uh, I don't know, tap. You can look what tap says. Tap. To turn a land or creature sideways to show it as being used. That's pretty much tapped. You got draw. Interesting, the paper changed right here. So what do you think of Portal? They want you to fill this out and send it to them. I wonder if you could still do that. And it just kind of gives you a bunch of information, what you need to learn, how to play this game, if this is really your first time playing it. Anyways, it also comes with these small little deck boxes here as well. Looks like uh, some sort of green deck, maybe a black deck going on. We'll open it up and see what it's about. It says, do not shuffle, because these are pre-made and predetermined. You're supposed to just draw the cards you have and play through it, this rule book right here. Oh, I do not want to shuffle that. What is this, a checklist? The checklist. The complete checklist. Alright, so I will slap this deck right here. And put the checklist back in the box. Small little boxes. These are such small little boxes. There are 35 card boxes. You got Magic the Gathering on it. Wizards of the Coast right there. You got the interesting kind of well again. And I'll open up this one as well. If I can open it up. And this one probably has a checklist as well. I'll leave the checklist in there. And it says do not shuffle these, so I'll just set them out this way. And then I'll pull out the play guide. And let's open it up to the first page. Each player draws seven cards. Well, let's just draw seven. Ooh, Stormcrow. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that is my first hand. I love the art on this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are my two cards right here. Okay, let's just see. Player A's first turn. I'm not sure who player A is. I think this is player A. And it just tells you what to do. Draw the top card of your deck and put it in your hand. Take the card that says planes. Tell me this is my planes. Oop, wrong deck. Here we go. Maybe not. Where is my planes? Oh, here we go. So it is this deck. So this is a three color deck. Take the card that says planes. You play down your planes and it says play down your hero. So you put down your hero. So it just kind of really runs you through step by step. This guide right here knows exactly the order of your cards in your deck. So it'll run you through the first five steps to kind of show you the gameplay and how to play the game. Now I just kind of want to go through the decks and just see what kind of cards are inside them. And really just check out the art. The art on these older sets are so much fun for me. And I love the art so much. I love the feel of these older cards as well. Alright, so let's just go through this deck. Whoa. Love this art. How fun is that? It's like this guy, he literally vaporized this other king or knight or something with his fingers. Pew, pew. Command of Unsummoning, two in the blue. Sorcery, I love the text on these cards. Play Command of Unsummoning only after you're attacked before you declare interceptors. Return any one or two attacking creatures to the owner's hands by Phil Fogilo. Cool, we got the portal symbol right down there. It's a sorcery, and he zapped them. Love the lands on this set as well. Lovely swamp, lovely sort of oranges in the sky by Ramos. An island, just a portal island right there. By Eric Peterson. Just got this interesting kind of donut, or like crescent-shaped island. 
Got Mind Rot. Great card right here. Two in the black. Sorcerer, your opponent chooses and discarded two cards from his or her hands. If your opponent only has one card in hand, he or she discards it. By Steve Luke. Great card. Great card. Got Ingenious Thief. One in a blue. Summon Creature with Flying. I love how the text on these sets are really for like players. It shows you that the thick text is pretty much the ability. Once we get to a better card, I'll, I'll show it more. Uh, when Inge uh, Ingenious Thief comes into play, from your hand, look at your opponent's hand. It's a flying 1-1 one, one creature. I love how there's the sword and the shield. Let you know it's attack and defense. I wish they brought that back. It's a lot of fun. One in a blue. Got again the swamp. Got monster with growth. One in a green. Any one creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. It's a sorcery. And it shows you an example. This is great for a starter set. For example, a 6-3 creature would become a 7-10. I mean a 10-7 <laughs> by Dan Frazier. Got the giant cat that was hiding underneath the carriage in a giant turn giant, flipping it over. The horse is freaking out by Dan Frazier. Really like this. Kind of shows you how it works as well if you're not really sure what the ability means. Got a beautiful forest right here. Love the trees by John Avon. Just the depth. Bet you could see something in the background. Is that a person? I don't know. Again, the swamp. Got skeletal crocodile. Three and a black. You got the flavor text down here. I like how there's a line separating any rules and flavor text. Summon creature. The less flesh there is, the more teeth there seems to be. By Mike uh, Dingleberg. Five attack, one toughness. Or five power, one toughness. Cool art. Got an island again. Got cloak of feathers, one blue. Any one creature gains flying till end of turn, and then you draw a card. So sorcery with some card draw and give your creature flying by Re Rebecca Gwai. Looks like she's got in, um, some sort of, uh, what's that bird? A peacock, like a peacock tail, looks like. I love her art. It's beautiful. Love the watercolors. Looks like she has really big ears or just big earrings on. Another island. A vampiric touch. Two in a black. Vampiric touch deals two damage to your opponent. You gain two life. And again, this is a really good example. A portal... Um, this first portal edition is really great for new players. You got the the text, uh, the rule text is really bold. Uh, the flavor text is really small, so you know this is what the the card does, and this is just kind of some flavor to it. Really like that, and I really like how all of the cards, uh, the creatures, have the sword and the shield, letting you know that this is attack, this is defense. Even if you're new to the game, it's really easy to figure it out. I wish they brought those back, and I wish they brought back this like dividing line and the different uh, thicknesses of text. The touch, not comfort. Comforting but of death by Zena Saunders. Crazy little vampire. He's sleeping. Someone's grabbing his head, taking away his memories. The swamp again, the same swamps. Touch of brilliance. He's doing something with some shapes, floating them in the air. He's a magician. Three in a blue. Draw two cards by John uh, Colehart. Again, the forest again. The same lands. They're just repeating the same lands. Coral eel. Beautiful eel, just crazy. You got Nemo hanging out in the background. This eel, this more eel coming at you to bite. Kind of like how it has a translucent tail. By Una Fricker, two and a one. And it's a uh, one and a blue summon creature eel, I believe. I got an elite cat warrior. You got forest walk going on right here. This is a great example for a starter set. Two and a green. You got forest walk, the ability uh, right there, big and bold. And it tells you exactly what it does. It has two and a three right down there. The sword and the shield by Eric Peterson. Kind of got this like jaguar cat warrior run right at you on two feet. Very interesting. If I saw a cat running around like that, I'd probably laugh because you don't see cats walking like that. If the defending player has any force in play, elite cat warrior can't be intercepted. Forests are in play regardless of whether they are tapped or untapped. So if your opponent has a forest, it can't be blocked. Easy enough. Another island, the same island. Got a craven knight, one and a black. Can't intercept, can't block. Us. I say victory is better than honor. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And it's this creepy looking guy riding on a horse with his hands kind of all creepy like that. Interesting. Got like this shadow hooded figure in the background. Got a nice bit of smoke. Beautiful art. This is awesome. By Charles Gillespie. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. Love the art. Love the depth. Love the coloring. Very orange sort of flesh. Creepy looking lady in the background. Got some like stone head sort of structure in the background. Absolutely love it. This is fun. Got Hand of Death. Love this so much. Two and a black. Destroy any one creature that isn't black. A creature is black if it has the black mana cost in its cost. Um, awesome. Just get rid of a creature. It's a sorcery by drawn Colhart. Creepy long fingernails like witch fingernails. I don't know how you do anything with fingernails like that. <laughs> the swamp again. Ooh, this is cool. Snapping Drake. Three and a blue. 
Summon creature with flying. It's a 3-2 creature. Drakes claim to be dragons until dragons show up by Christopher Rush. They want to be dragons, but the dragons will put them in their place. Got Feral Shadow. This is some fun art right here. I love it. Got the cityscape in the background. You got the moon. You got the shadow of this feral just right in front of it. Uh, just blocking out the moon. Absolutely love the kind of green glint in the eyes. Beautiful art. This is my Colin uh, McNeil. It's a 2 1 creature with a flying, and it's a 2 and a black. Beautiful. Got Panther Warriors. Just a whole bunch of them running through the forest. A bunch of depth. You got this one up front, and then you can see all the brethren just running there as well. They all got pants on. These cats have pants. Four and a green. It's a 6 3 creature by Eric Peterson. Got muckrats going on right here. Cool art. I don't know if I've seen this art for this card. Uh, just one black. You got a whole bunch of rats. You got the cityscape in the background. Same sort of feel. Set definitely the same artist. Yep. You can tell that they draw the same sort of building feel. Love it. Some old kind of medieval building. You got the rats running amok. Nasty. One one for one black. The island. Another forest. Another swamp. Another island. Got time ebb. Crazy looking art. These grizzly bears are just morphing into nothing. It's taking up the water and both of them just disappearing them. Two and a blue. Return any one creature to the top of its owner's deck. Like the tide, time both ebbs and flows by Alan Robinwitz. Cool art. Got Grave Digger. Wow, I don't remember this art for this card. This is actually, they reprinted it quite a bunch of times. It looks like some sort of mantis creature hybrid with a snake tongue and green eyes. You got some flowers in the front of it. Kind of give you some happiness holding some sort of mining picks and shovel and just has weird fingers et sort of fingers wow so 2-2 two, two by scott m fisher it's a three and a black when gravedigger comes into play from your hand you may choose to return summon creature card from your disc and pile to your hand so pretty much when it comes into play return a card from your graveyard to your hand creature card and then i got rowan tree folk how fun is this it's like crawling along like a spider with his little tree hands little face he looks like an old man put some glasses on him three and a green our 3 4 creature by Gary Grace. Then you got the classic Storm Crow. One in a blue for a 1 2 flying. Boom. Flying with the lightning. So that was the first deck. And let's just check out the other deck as well. Looks like I got a mountain. Just a beautiful mountain by Brian Durfee. Crazy dip to it. Love the orange red sun. I got Fire Imp. Two in a red. Uh, summon creature. When fire imp comes into play from your hand, it deals two damage to any one creature. It's a two one, and when you play it, deals two damage to any creature. That's pretty cool. So it comes in like a shock as well. Looks like he's got fire on his nose, a really long nose. Hmm, <laughs> pretty funny. Got untamed wilds, two and a green. Uh, sorcery. Search your deck for a plains, island, swamp, mountain, or forest. Put that card into play, then shuffle your deck afterwards. It's pretty cool. You put it directly into play. It doesn't come into play tapped. Lovely art. Got the stream in the background. You got the swamp, the plains, the mountain, and the forest all in the same one, letting you know you can choose any one of them. And then I guess the island is the water running down it as well. Lovely art by Ramos. Beautiful. Got the plains as well, and the savannah. Just the lovely trees, lovely skyscape. I wish you could see some animals running around by Douglas Schulter. Got Defiant Stand, one and a white. Sorcery, play Defiant Stand. Only after you've attacked before you declare Interceptors. Any one creature gets plus one, plus three until end of turn. If that creature is tapped, untap it. So you untap your creature, give it plus one, plus three until end of turn. This is drawn by Hannibal King. This small little soldier is literally stopping this horse in its tracks with a blade, getting ready to stop it. Got a forest again, the same forest from the other deck. Got Gorilla Warriors, two and a green. Summon Creature, it's a 3-2 by John Matson. Hanging out there, that looks like a turkey leg, but I'm pretty sure it's just a big old stump. And he's going to hit you with it. Rawr. The Plains again. Got Venerable Monk, 2 and a white. Creature Monk, it's a 2-2. Two, two. When Venerable Monk comes into play from your hand, you gain 2 life. So when you play it, you gain some life by D. Alexander Gregory. He's got a serious look on his face, and he's holding his pike. Got the Mountain again. Got lizard warriors, these Vashino creatures, three in a red. You can see a shadow on the ground right there. He's running with his pike, and he looks like something out of uh, either Jurassic Park or like Star Wars or something like that. Got his very primitive clothing. You never think that lizard needs clothing, but in this game they do. It's a 4-2. Don't let the appearance frighten you. Let its claws and teeth do that. <laughs> By Roger Rope. Got the planes again. Got a sacred nectar, one in a white. Gain four life for two mana. It's a sorcery. By Jenny Johnson. She's dreaming from the waterfall. She's drinking from the waterfall. And you can see it's glowing all this energy, healing her and giving her life. Beautiful. Mountain again. Got Blaze X in a red. 
Blaze deals X damage to any one creature or player. For example, if you attack a mountain plus four other lands, it deals four damage. By a, uh, Gary Grace. The sorcerer is just feeding this orb of fire right there. Very orange and red picture with a little bit of yellow, so you can feel the heat from it. Cool. Got a forest again. Got a hill giant. He's just hanging out in the hill. Sad. He looks very strong and very sad. Three in the red by Randy Galagos. It's a 3-3 creature. What are these? Are those his shoes or is that his old friend that he accidentally sat on? Not really sure. It's hard to tell that he's a giant, but he's a big guy sitting on a hill, so I guess he's a hill giant. <laughs> Got a plains. Got a raging goblin. One red, unaffected by summon sickness. It's a one drop for a 1-1 one -one that can attack right away. Running right at you, shows he's raging. Got his stone sword club in his hand by Pete Ventures. Got Anaconda, would you look at that? It's uh, the snake with Swamp Walk. Three and a green, big old snake, swimming in the marshes. Love the water, love the reflection in the water, love the bright colors. You can almost feel like it's a real pool. That's awesome. By Andrew Robinson, great art. Three, three with Swamp Walk. Mountain again. Got Spotted Griffin. It's this hawk, sort of cat creature hybrid. Crazy. Sitting on the perch, flying. It's a two, three. When a cat flies and the bird stalks, Guard your horses carefully. By William Simpson. Got the Lava Axe, 4 in red. Deals 5 damage to your opponent. I remember playing a lot of these in my deck when I was younger. Just trying to get 20 damage with these cards and these cards alone. Swing your axe as a broom to sweep away your foes. By uh, Adrian Smith. Got a Plains. Got a Regal Unicorn, 2 and a white. It's a 2-3 creature. Hanging out there. You got the different moons in the background. Interesting over purple clouds. Very white. Unicorn, you can see the wind is blowing its tail in Maine away. Just the unicorn. Got the classic, just grizzly bears coming at you with his big old claws, screaming. Got some sort of orange in the background letting you know he means business. One in a green summon creature, that's a 2-2. Two -two. Don't worry about provoking grizzly bears. They come that way. Got armored pegasus. Pegasus flying in the sky. Love the beautiful oranges. And a little bit of yellow in the clouds. One in a white with a flying. It's a 1-2 creature. Got devoted hero. One white, it's a 1-2 creature. The Heart's Courage is the soul's guardian. He's got his pike, and he's sticking up to this giant troll in the background. you got a couple of them, the small little elf guy, and he's not spending, he's not standing down. By D. Tisley. Got a plains again, mountain again, the forest again, the mountain again. Got warrior's charge, two and a white. All your creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. For example, a 1-2 creature would become a 2-3. And all your creatures, and it's a sorcery. You can see a giant battle is going on between good and evil. You got the red dragons and the white angels on this side. You got some sort of like goblin creatures and soldiers over here. You can just see the clash of color right down the middle. Beautiful art. This is fun by Ted uh, Nephi. Got volcanic hammer. Great card as well. Uh, one and a red. Uh, there's three damage to any one creature or player. Boom. That's pretty cool. But then I got the hulking goblin. This guy is just hulking. There's a battle going on behind it, but he looks pretty sad. Maybe he's just hungry or something like that. He's got his tiny little club and his big one. He's dragging it. You see all these goblins in the background just fighting, but he's not in it. He can't intercept. That's why. He can't block, so he's just hanging out, not fighting. 2-2 Two -two by Pete Ventures. The art actually goes great with it. So, those are pretty fun decks. I actually really like the art. really like the art in the field. Um, these would actually be some great games that you could play with your friend. And then the last thing we have in this Magic the Gathering Portal st starter set for two players is this Portal Starter. Uh, this just regular Portal uh, booster pack. The pack is super wrinkly right here. It's been in there for since 1997, so <laughs> it only makes sense. Got Portal 15 tradable card, 15 tradable game cards. Starter set required to play. Letting you know that this pack is a standalone. And then it says, Magic the Gathering Portal Booster Pack contains 15 tradable card games. This may be added to your starter deck to increase your playing options. Plus one uh, strategy tip card. Cards are randomly sorted. Collect all 215 cards. And again, this came out in 1997. Got the portal kind of symbols on it as well. The symbol right there. And then you got like a soldier in it as well. Let's just open it up and see what it is. Really like the gold foiling of this pack. Alrighty. I'm not sure how the order of these work. But we'll just kind of go with it. Got Mystic Denial. One and two blue. Sorcery. Play Mystic Denial only in the response to another player playing a, a summon creature or sorcery. That card has no effect and that player puts it into his discard pile. 
So um, it cancels creatures or sorceries, not instants or enchantments or anything, just sorceries and creatures. It's like a cancel, mystic denial. So sorcery by Hannibal King. This wizard is trying to conjure up something, but nope, it's getting stopped and just turning into this white ether and blasting away. Interesting, he's in some sort of like gear room. What is this? Air superiority. To build an air superiority deck, uh, put together seven planes, seven islands, ten and eleven, uh, ten to eleven white cards, and ten to eleven blue cards for a total of thirty-five cards. Leave all other cards out. About fourteen of the cards should be summoned creatures. Be sure to include lots of defensive cards and creature cards with flying, such as Defiant Stands and Snapping Dragon. Interesting. So it kind of tells you a deck type. The air superiority. White and blue with a bunch of flying. Interesting. Never thought that. And I guess this is the planes. Are these... um Interesting. It comes with two lands. Are these packs... Are these actual regular booster packs or are these some sort of supplemental for just these starter sets? I'm not sure. Because this has two lands in it. Got Path of Peace, three and a white. Destroy any one creature. That creature's owner gains four life by Pete Ventures. So get rid of a creature. Make your whoever's creature you destroy, they gain four life. So it looks like this monk is sleeping. And he's waiting for the apocalypse to happen. Looks like something crazy is going on in the background. Maybe the sun is setting. Cool. Got a Foot Soldiers, three and a white. Summon creatures. It's a two, four creatures. Classic art. They're all on the same level. All sitting there with their metal helmets on. By Kev Walker. Got the Wind Drake, beautiful card. Love this art. Two and a blue, summon creature with flying. It's a two two. Love the purple and pink and a little bit of the, uh, yellow. Yellow to pink to purple background. Love it so much. Beautiful art by Zion Saunders. Got the Horned Turtle. <laughs> what a cool card. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Two and a blue, just a big old turtle with some spikes on it. You got this guy on the island with his net, you can see, and his staff, and he wants to eat the turtle for dinner, but the turtle isn't having it. One and one attack, four defense. By Adrian Smith. Got a spiritual guardian. Three and two white. When it comes into play from your hand, uh, if it comes in pl- into play from your hand, you gain four life. It's a three, four. Gain four life when it comes into play. It's kind of expensive. Five mana for three, four. And you gain four life. That's all right. By Tressie Nielsen. Got flash fires. Great if you're going against a planes deck. Three and a red. Sorcery. Destroy all planes. Even if you have planes, you got to get rid of them. Dry grass is tinder before the spark. Flashfire, boom, by Randy Gallego. So you can see the sun is just peeking through this crazy amount of fire. Got Deep Sea Serpent, four and two blue. So my creature, Deep Sea Serpent, can attack. Only if defending player has an island in play. It's a 5-5. Five, five. They need an island play. If not, it can attack. By Scott M. Fisher, it needs to swim over there. Beautiful art, absolutely lovely. Got the red tip of the dragon all the way to like some purples and blues. Hanging out with a sunken uh, pirate ship as well. Got a fish head poking out the corner right here. Some small yellow fish. Now this is some great art. It'd be cool to have a big poster of that. That is awesome. Got the owl familiar. Great card. I love owls. One in a blue. Flying. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. When it comes into play from your hand, draw a card and choose and discard a card from hand. So when it comes into play, you pretty much loot by uh, Janie uh, Johnson. Beautiful art. Looks like the owl has his own little owl book. It reading on its spare time. Cool. Got Elven Catch. 2-2 two two green. Return any one card from your discard pile to your hand. Whatever you want. Land, creature, planeswalker, just return it to your hand by Rebecca Guai. She's hanging out by the stream. Beautiful watercolors. Lovely. Got the bog imp hanging out there. One and a black. This poor misunderstood creature. He looks so scary, but he's just playing with flowers and wants to be accepted. Flying? Don't be fooled by their looks. Think of them as little knives with wings. His looks definitely fooled me. It's a 1 1 with flying by Christopher Rush. And the last card. Oh, nope. I got armored pegasus. One and a white. Summon creature with flying. It's a 1 2 creature. Flying in the sky. And the last one I got is a Raging Goblin. Unaffected by Summon Sickness. It's a 1 drop for 1-1. One, one. I'm not sure if these booster packs are uh, just for the supplemental set. It's interesting that it came with two lands. I don't know if all the portal booster sets come with two lands. Something I'm curious about. If you do know, let me know. Anyways, it was a lot of fun opening up this older set. This older portal starter set for two players. Really fun to check out the art on them. Love the art. Love the feel of these older cards. Love the text. Love the sword and the shield for the attack and defense. And just really great starter set. And so much fun to open up and check it out with you all. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.